Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. Today's creative activity is called Zentangle. Zentangling, like doodling or drawing, is a mindfulness art form. It can help calm the mind and create peace within. And because it's so simple to do and accessible for all, it appeals to many different kinds of people, from wellness communities to grade schools to corporate offices. Here are some samples of completed Zentangles. Aren't they beautiful? You can do this. All you need is a piece of paper, and typically we use a three and a half inch square piece of paper, which we call a tile. And you need a pen or a pencil, and that's it. Okay, we are ready for step one. Step one is gratitude and appreciation. Get comfortable, take a few deep breaths, and feel gratitude and appreciation for this beautiful paper and these wonderful tools and for this opportunity to create something beautiful. We start with corner dots. Take your pencil and place a dot in each of the four corners of your tile. Probably about a fourth of an inch from each corner of your paper. Now, step number three is connecting the dots, creating borders. Simply draw a line connecting the dots and you will form a square. Very simple. Now we will create strings. Strings separate your tile into sections in which you draw your tangles. A string can be any shape. It can be a curvy line that touches the edge of your border or a series of straight lines that go from one side of the border to the next. Just have fun drawing the lines as simple as this is. Now it is time to tangle. A tangle is a sequence of simple strokes that make up a pattern. Tangle is both a noun and a verb. Just as you dance a dance, you tangle a tangle. Draw your tangles with deliberate strokes. Don't worry about what it's going to look like. Just focus on each stroke of your pencil as you make it. Trust that you'll know what to do next when the time to do it comes. There's no up or down to Zentangle, so you can feel free to rotate your tile in any direction that is most comfortable for your hand. Step six is shade. This is an optional step. You can add shades of gray with your graphite pencil to bring contrast and dimension to your tile. Step number seven is initial and sign your art. This is art you created. You should sign it. Put your initials on the front. On the back, place your name and date and any comments or observations that you had as you were tangling. Last but not least, our final step, appreciate. Hold your tile at arm's length. Turn it this way and that and appreciate what you just created. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed learning how to Zentangle and always remember, art is healing. Take care everyone.